<laughs> How's everybody doing? I'm so sorry. Well, I'm gonna say sorry. You all know I'm dealing with you know surgery and stuff, and you know I'm I'm, I'm nurturing my health. I'm running an astrology class, you know, uh, which is uh, it's becoming really really uh, hip, you know. So. Please, I love for you guys to enroll in the course. It's six weeks, you know, fantastic. Uh, email me, call me, or call Commander Green, my manage my manager, and she'll uh, fill you in. Thank you for continuing to give and continuing to support my content and my GoFundMe page. Thank you for your donation every. Send counts again. We are gonna do a production in June, August, and I'm not quite sure what property to use yet. I haven't been inspired yet. I have a couple of properties already, you know, I have an anthology of works that I can repeat and do, but you know, I like to keep it always current and fresh every year. Well, anyway, I want to thank you for allowing me the privilege to be able to do that because the, your monies that you donate in the GoFundMe page. And also for those of you who want readings, can contact me at 347-485-6258 or through my uh, Instagram. I have, you can follow me on Instagram, the People's Astrologer and or Fernando Prism. I got two Instagram pages. So today, without further ado, we are going to talk about the moon. And Leo! <laughs> the moon in Leo represents the crown. It is the color red, the color of Shango, which is Leo. Okay? It is also an aspect of Oshun in the seven in the in the in the Orishas religion, in the Yoruba religion, you know. Leo also represents authority. It represents the shawl. What I wear, this what I wear, this is indicative of priests, right? But it's also a symbol of authority, and it is a symbol of Leo, the sign of authority. And here is the, uh, the tooth, the tiger tooth, right? Right, and the symbol of Leo. Leo is beautiful. It is Tipareth in the middle pillar of the Kabbalah. It is the inner sun, the solar plexus. It is the absolute beauty of the universe. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is inside you. When, they, when, when the Bible talks about that, the kingdom of heaven is inside you. They're talking about Leo, Tipareth. The beauty of our solar system within. As within, so without. As above, so below. The sun illuminates our solar system. It gives light to the moon, which is why the moon has its phases. Without that sun, there is no moon. There are no phases. There is no growth of our plants, of our food underneath the soil. That cannot happen without the sun. Leo! It is the progenitor of everything that is beautiful and light. There is another mystery behind the sun, and it is the planet Cyrus. But we won't talk about that. Leo is, 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 is absolutely, is, is, I can describe the beauty. If I do, I might get a heart attack. And talking about the heart, the purple flame, the sacred heart, this is also governed by Leo. It is the flame, the violent flame of the purple heart. It is the red, the spark of the universe, which give 12. It is beautiful, fiery, sensual, and classy as the color red. Leo, in your honor. <laughs> Aries, don't get upset, because the color red belongs to Mars. But, but red, but the sun is fire too. It's the triplicity between Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. The grand fire trine. 
Now let's discuss the Leo woman. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna dance. <laughs> some of the most beautiful women, some of the most glamorous women on our planet have this beautiful allure of the Leo energy, which is embodied in every woman, not just the Leo woman, in every woman. But understand that the highest epitome has a sustainable fire that we can reference. And that is the violent, consistent frame of Olympus was Prometheus stole from the gods and ran to give to humanity. That was the touch of Leo. Knowledge. The knowledge of the gods descending upon humans. That is the mystery of the Sphinx in Egypt. The Sphinx was built in the age of Leo. But many anthropologists and archaeologists don't know the revolution in which that took place. Talk to a shaman. He'll tell you. It was in the Leo day, age that that was created. Many other anthropologists and esoterists believe they might have been the age of Scorpio. No. No. It was Leo. The stars were all in their glory. But since the last two ice ages, the constellation and orientation of the stars are not the same as they were thousands or millions of years ago. That antiquity of knowledge and greatness was lost. Leo represents ancient beauty that has been long lost and gone. But that's, we're talking on a more esoteric level. Because we cannot talk about Leo without that Genesis Qua quality. Understand that the fire and that solar sun that illuminates our solar system is the same fire that illuminates us from within and it is the lower nature of our creator because the higher nature of our creator we yet do not understand or know jehovah which is the imposter god has taken place of the ultimate god i will speak no further about that so leo is the is, is the energy that it gives us a reason to live. It is, it, is, it, is, it is dip into matter and enjoying the taste and sensation of matter. This falls with the fixed science of the zodiac. Taurus, which is about money and material possessions and luxury. Scorpio, which is about sex, money, death. Aquarius which is about surrender, anarchy, and running towards that which few angels, or most angels, fear the trick. And then you have Leo, the king, the monarch, the, the divine blood, the royal bloodlines. Understand the power of Leo. Now, as we are about to enter, this dynamic as it pertains to the human female born under the, the stars of Leo with the moon illuminating that light into consciousness by the placing of the moon in Leo, we shall let you know what type of woman will be in your mission. Mm -mm. Lord, the heavens are twirling. <laughs> with Leo, how could they not? How could they not? Mm. Now, Leo also represents the divine child of Antioch, the divine child of Christ, the Madonna holding the baby. That's also a symbol of Leo, the great mystery of all mysteries. It, it, it means the Madonna means far more in mystery than that. We won't discuss that here. But let me tell you, Leo represents like Virgo, which is what they mythologically, Leo and Virgo are very close connected. Just like Scorpio and, and, and Virgo 
a powerful, tempestual relationship, but a relationship nonetheless. <coughs> the same with Virgo and Leo. The same with Mercury or Virgo and Aries. All the signs share mythology with each other. And when we're going to talk about the moon sign, which symbolizes the current reality of our existence, while the sun sign is what we are aspiring to go to, it bears discussion. Don't you think? Let me tell you. Oh, where do we begin? I don't know where to begin. I just don't know. There's so much. So much. Okay. All right. Let's go into it. The Leo woman is a warm and emotionally proud person who seeks to be loved, admired, and appreciated. She wants to be loved because she has so much love to give. She wants to be admired because, come on, these are some of the most beautiful women in the world. Come on. How could you not want to be admired and appreciated? The Leah woman wants to be appreciated because if you don't appreciate her, you are going to insult her dignity. Like Miss Capricorn woman. Wait until we get to the Capricorn woman, moon. The Earth Queen. Mm. But we'll get there. The Leo moon. You cannot fuck with these women's dignity. Okay? With a flair for the dramatic. The Leo woman will dress to kill. She gives Libra a run for her money. Another sign of great beauty. Because there's a lot of women under Libra that are also quite fantastic. Any woman is. Every woman is in my book. You know. But there's some templates that represent the archetype. And that falls with the moon in Libra under the, 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 the Libra woman. Because of the rulership of Venus. The sign of love and beauty and money. And also Leo. The sign of royalty. Class and royal bloodlines. So you're dealing with a lot of pride and a lot of a lot of broad, a lot of stress. You know? So the Leah woman sees herself as the ultimate porcelain, the ultimate canvas, the ultimate piece of jewelry. She's majestic. When you see her come into a room, glasses fall on the floor. People go, some gasp. <gasps> some literally lose their breath because what comes down is almost like Shekinah of the Jewish marriage woman that comes and, and, and engulfs the marriage bed. It's the Matrona of the Jewish pantheon. The one that shares the marriage bed at the moment of consummation of honeymoon in the Jewish culture. That is Shekinah or Shekinah. That is the beauty and exemplification of the Leo Moon woman. This woman is all woman. Now, after all that explosive flair, you know, the fires of the universe begins to calm down and coalesce. Now we have the permanent sphere of the sun. Now we have beauty permanently sitting in the fabric of space-time, illuminating the solar system in its all its beauty and glory. So is that beauty and glory expressed from within each human being outward through the solar plexus. Mm. These archons that are talking to me, it's electric. Ooh. Ooh, because you know I don't even remember the bitch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now understand. You now we gotta understand that um uh, let's talk a little bit more. Let's talk a, 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 a little bit more about um her dignity. Okay. 
She's a woman that likes to be the center of attention. If this woman is not the center of attention, she's going to go into depression. Now we see the dark side of Miss Leo. The opposite polarity, Aquarius. We can't discuss the Leo moon without the opposite polarity of Aquarius. The sign of impersonality. Libra, cardinal air, deals with interpersonal relating. Gemini, mutable air, deals with the interchanging of groups and pockets of groups of people, including races and cultures. The opposite polarity of Gemini being Sagittarius. So, when we're dealing with Aquarius, we're dealing with a complete detachment of human feeling, of human empathy, of caring, of giving a shit. You're not going to see a level of impersonality like you would with a Leo woman. Have you ever been at the tail end of a Leo woman who dismisses you? Oh my God, it's worse than the silence of a Taurus woman. Oh, I got to take a drink for that one. I, 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 of course I do. Oh, the, the electricity. The alcohol calms the electricity down. That's why I drink. These archons. Oh. I have to have all kinds of things happening to keep their vibration at a certain level. So it doesn't disrupt the human psyche. I already said too much. So understand that she wanted to be the center of attention and the center of entertainment. How could you blame her? She represents the sun. The sun is the center of our solar system. Without the sun, there's nothing here. So obviously that psychology is going to be seen or that principle of the stars is going to be seen in the psyche and personality of the Leo uh, moon female and Leo moon man. The sun is the center of our solar system. So why should she, why shouldn't she feel to be the center of everything? As above, so below. Hello? Cut the Leo moon woman a break. She just be who she is, who she knows to be. Beauty and splendor. You go, Miss Leo Moon Woman. You, you, you don't do wrong by me. Never. Yes, I'm impartial. I gotta be. The sun, come on, guys. Without the sun, there ain't nothing here. Come on, you gotta, we gotta, gotta give me, cut me a little slack. You gotta let her get away. She, the little woman gets away with a lot of shit. But when you let her get away with it, without her, there's no sun. Without there's no sun, there's no other hot damn. So understand that if you have a woman that has the Leo moon, you the way to mitigate that energy is that you have to manage her. And it's easy to manage her if you know how if you know how to deal with the psychology of a woman with the moon in Leo. If you don't, you're fucked. This woman is like a a, 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 a magnolia or a petunia, you know, or the sunflower. There is a sunflower in her name. Mother Nature provided us the sunflower. Which is indicative of Leo. How beautiful is that? Have you seen a sunflower? I'm like, really? It looks like the sun. Oh my God. With the sunspots and everything. <laughs> I mean, you gotta fucking laugh or cry. <laughs> you know? So, there are some good moments that we can appreciate the femininity of the real God. Because we know it's a woman, right? Reflected in the femininity of nature. Yes. Oh, God, these energies are electric. You know, when it comes to the Leo energy, I don't know what stars, are, are, where, where these beings are coming from, but, ooh, it's just, all I see is lights and crown, just lots of crown, royalty, splendor, luxury, high end. I mean, the, it just, just, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. It's just fantastic, beautiful. Majestic, overwhelming, even. Now understand 
that while she's a very dignified woman and she can come across like a bitch, cold, or emotionally detached and indifferent, it's not that. She's pulling from her opposite polarity, which is Aquarius, impersonal. She don't give a shit. When the Leo woman gets like that, you fucked her. You've offended her. You did something in which there's no coming back from. And it takes a lot for you to do that to the Leo woman. So now you guys say, ah, shit, what the fuck did I do? What the fuck did I do now? And you're going to have to beg to let her back in. And you know, she's so beautiful of a human being that she'll let you back in. But it will be best if you bring plenty of gifts. Bring plenty of gifts. Bring her favorite flowers. Buy her jewelry. Gold is very, very... Gold is, 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 is the sun. It's Leo. I mean, gold. I got gold. The gold is important to us. It makes us shine. The highest conductor of electromagnetic waves is gold. So the more gold you have, the more it acts as a conductor to the vibrations of the other planes. Don't sleep on gold and, 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 and stones. They, they are barometers. They bring vibrations onto you. And Leo represents that principle as well. Now, you have to understand that even though she is who she is, and she could be stubborn, and kind of like uh, bigoted and arrogant, or she could be that, she could be real ugly. As ugly as the sunspots that show up on our sun every now and then. And when the sunspots appear on our on our sun, there's usually cataclysmic things happening on the earth. NASA and the scientific community has already confirmed that. So understand that Leo, the, the sun can be just as tempestuous as our moon. They're not really that, that, that much different. Okay? Understand also that she wants to be loved. She has a strong need for for romance, affection. She loves affection. Nurture her. You want to see a wallflower die? Don't nurture the Leo woman. Like the moon in cancer or the sun in cancer. These women will be destroyed by your lack of empathy, compassion, appreciation, and consideration. These are hallmarks that are very important to these women. So what are you going to do? If you want a woman to be good to you, speaking to you gentlemen, you're going to have to appreciate the value that these women bring into your life. And it may be abstract, it might not be tangible that you can see right away, but the mere fact that you are with a Leo woman or a Leo moon woman on your side, the universe has already opened the doors to you because of her. So understand, you gentlemen, that you have to be able to understand how to treat this woman, that her tantrums and her childish ways and manipulations are reflective of the inner child that's inherent within all of us, men and women. We all have an inner child. And the Leo in Moon woman and in men represents the concept and the archetype of the, the divine child of Antioch or the divine child of Christ. So the Leos resonate an inner child-like innocence just like Aries is the baby. Well, Leo is the divine child of Christ, pulsating, humbly waiting to be exalted. But only you can do that to the act of self-love. Self-love 
is a way to balance the Leo moon. And we're done with part one.